Welcome to an all new course from Exit Automation. And this time we'll be talking about Kubernetes for testers. Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to an all new course from Exit Automation on Kubernetes for testers and I have split this course into two sections. Section 1 will be talking about understanding the ABC of Kubernetes and this is the section that we're going to talk about. And there is another section where we'll be talking about Selenium Grid with Kubernetes. And in this we'll be talking about an introduction to Kubernetes. Alright, so let's get started. Who are the intended audience of this course? Well, the course is designed in such a way that it will be helpful for QA developers and DevOps to get started with this course since this is a very very basic course from complete ground up. As I said, the section 1 is totally a generic topic where it will be helpful for anybody like QA developers and DevOps but section 2 is going to be too much focused on testers and it's very very helpful for testers to understand how we can leverage the power of Kubernetes for Selenium Grid. Let's talk about why Kubernetes for testers though. Well, we already discussed about Dockers in our Exit Automation YouTube channel as well as in Udemy courses a couple of years before and we saw the real power of containers and its usage. A lot of testers and DevOps are now using Docker as their daily driver for application development and testing to use them as a microservices. It's really really awesome to see how Dockers is really playing a key role in application development as well as in testing part. While the world is agile, we should also adapt all the changes coming towards us and that's why Kubernetes for testers. So before getting into Kubernetes, there are some prerequisite knowledge one should have. The first thing is basic understanding of containers which is very very important. So if you have not watched my other courses on Docker, please go ahead and watch the Docker course. There are three courses available so please go ahead and watch the basic understanding of docker core so that you will have a complete understanding of what containers is and how to work with different kinds of container and basic understanding of linux is a plus but i don't say that if you don't really have you cannot continue with this course you can still continue with this course with some command line information on linux will be a plus so what is the goal of this course well at the end of the course we will run a containerized selenium grid which will be scaled as well as self-healing capable so that's the real power of this course itself in our previous courses of exit automation on dockers we saw how we can scale our test execution with selenium grid using docker and this time it is not just scaling alone but also self-healing capable and also we will see how we can leverage the power of kubernetes dashboard to see where the tests are executing and how they are executing and we can leverage the complete logging and capabilities of Kubernetes. Really really cool stuff. So let's get into Kubernetes itself. In a high level Kubernetes is written in Go language and is developed by Google. And Kubernetes is a container orchestration platform like Docker Swarm. So if you don't really have the idea of what Docker Swarm is all about, don't worry about it. Well, Docker Swarm and Kubernetes are a container orchestration platform. And Kubernetes is an open source system for automating deployment, scaling, and managing containerized applications. Google open sourced the Kubernetes project in 2014 to Cloud Native Computing Foundations. And it is one of the biggest projects for container management. It's really, really cool to see that recently Cloud Native Computing Foundation given Google $9 billion. Google is completely decentralizing the Kubernetes as a separate project. So they don't really own a lot of hold what they have right now. Kubernetes builds upon a decade and a half of experience that Google has with running production workload at scale combined with best of breed ideas and practices from the community. So there are stories that Google spins up a lot of containers using Kubernetes, at least some millions of containers or billions of containers every week. And they scale their applications like Google Drive, Gmail, and whatever you name it, everything is running with Google's container. This is really, really cool to see that Google has introduced this container concept. Almost nobody knows what is Docker and what is Kubernetes. Well. With all this information in hand, let's get into the high level overview of what Kubernetes is all about. So this is the Kubernetes architecture. So 
as you see the architecture itself seems to be kind of little messy because it has so many things in here like there is something called as kubernetes master and there is a dotted line here it calls us kubernetes minions or otherwise called as kubernetes nodes and they have some etcd some controller managers some cube api servers cube schedulers so many things in here so let's quickly do a small breakdown so that you'll have a clear understanding of what we're really talking about so these are the following components that kubernetes has a master which has api server scheduler controller and etcd and then it has many nodes so the nodes will actually have kubernetes proxy docker and kubelet so this docker is basically a container management it can be a docker a rocket or whatever different kinds of container management solution you've got all of them sit in here so this is kind of extendable to any other container solutions so i have just used docker here because we have already discussed about docker in our exit automation youtube as well as udemy course so this way this will be very helpful for us to leverage the power of docker in here well as you can see this is just a high level breakdown of what the master and nodes are all about in kubernetes but we'll be talking about the complete understanding of each and every component in our upcoming videos of this course i know it's a kind of confusing in first instance but don't worry about it yet but when it comes to testing all we need to know is how to use them rather how they actually works but understanding the basic high levels of each and every components of Kubernetes is going to be very, very helpful because nowadays the concepts are much simplified and it is not too complicated though. Well, about the agenda of the course, there are two sections as we already discussed. The first section is going to be the understanding ABC of Kubernetes where we'll be talking about introduction, installations of mini cubes in Mac and Windows, understanding masters, understanding node, understanding and working with parts, services, replication controllers and deployments and stuff. And then section two, we'll be talking about extending section one ideas in section two, creating Selenium hub parts, creating Selenium node parts, and Selenium node parts with Selenium hub parts, running parallel test execution on Selenium grid with Java. So these are the things that we'll be discussing about the whole course, and we'll see how things work. So that's it, guys. These are the things that we're going to talk about in Kubernetes this time. Let's get started.